Now moving to our fourth question tonight, it's on vaccines. Democrats, Republicans, and Libertarians and Independents all want to know your policy on vaccines. Should a COVID vaccine be made, be mandated once it's available? And what, if any, exceptions should be allowed for this and other medically recommended vaccines? This question goes first to Governor Holcomb. Well, it shouldn't be mandated, but it should be encouraged when it's safe. And it will have to go through the proper uh, approval uh, from the federal government. And we look forward to working with them. And I'm encouraged by things that I read about therapeutics and vaccines uh, that could roll out in the near term. We want to make sure that we're ready to rock and roll when it does come to Indiana, getting it out to the front line, getting it out to the most vulnerable, getting it out to our schools and long-term care centers, et cetera. That's the task force that we've put together already to make sure that we can get it out as quickly as possible, therapeutics as well. Thank you, Governor. Next, we go to Mr. Rainwater. Thank you. I am absolutely opposed to mandating vaccines, masks, business closures, the closures of churches in violation of the First Amendment, or any other government mandate that decides whether or not someone is put at risk. And a vaccine, even if it's been tested to be safe, will have possible side effects and risks, just like most other medicines do. And it must be a citizen's responsibility to determine what level of risk they're willing to take, what level of risk they are willing to put their children under, and government should not be involved in that decision. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, Dr. Myers. You know, vaccines overall are some of the most cost-effective uh, and important uh, investments that we've made as a society, and they have just proven to be lifesavers over a uh, hundred years. So we know that uh, there today is no safe and effective vaccine approved uh, for COVID-19, but I'm hopeful that uh, when a Biden-Harris administration takes office and we have a new CDC and FDA director, that one will be forthcoming. Uh, I know that they'll look at the research and, and they'll follow the recommendations of the manufacturers and carefully look at any restrictions so that there may be some patients for whom the vaccine is inappropriate and therefore wouldn't be recommended. Uh, so we don't know the, the full uh, side effect profiles yet. We don't know all of those restrictions, but they're going to be coming. And with respect to distribution, uh, the National Academy of Sciences has already uh, issued a report, which I have read, on how vaccines should be distributed, uh, who to prioritize, uh, healthcare workers, those with pre-existing conditions. And in Indiana nursing homes, that's where we're going to have the, the, the supply go to first, because that's where the most risk will be. Thank you. And we have a rebuttal from Governor Holcomb. Yeah, I just want to put a shout out. We're, we're fortunate to live in a state like Indiana where we have companies like Eli Lilly who are working on therapeutics, companies like Roche who are working on uh, this very issue, uh, making sure that we have the testing capability in a state like Indiana that has so many long-term care centers, about 535 that we're focused on, and make and very proud of the hospital network that we have border to border, east to west, north to south, who have all come together and are ready for, including the Indiana National Guard, to deploy vaccines. 